Over the last few years, TMD Technologies, suppliers of microwave transmitters for radar and electronic warfare applications, has enjoyed a 40% sales growth. It's won two Queen's Awards for Enterprise, and by the end of 2010, it expects to be turning over about £30 million, with profits of £6 million. But this success would be mere fantasy, but for a management buyout in 1995 that freed it from the shackles of its owners, allowing it to exploit potential overseas. The markets that we were previously involved in, which is in the UK, were dying. The product range that we had was also dying. But by taking the products to the world markets, and those world markets were well defined, uh, we selected them very carefully on the basis of customers who actually manufactured systems and were supplying the parts, the key parts for those systems. TMD was rewarded for this foresight when in 2008 it signed a multi-million dollar contract with an American company for the supply of radar transmitters for defense helicopters. But this tells only part of the success TMD has had supplying radar transmitters all over the world. The foundation of the business is in the manufacture of tubes for transmitters, one of the four components of a radar. Problems often occurred when other companies made the power supply for these tubes. Establishments like UKMOD would buy a microwave tube from one company and a power supply from another and another piece of the transmitter from somewhere else, fit it all together and then if it didn't work they go it's not my fault. And, and we recognise that, that at some stage somebody will want to buy the complete transmitter. TMD took on this challenge itself and decided to expand its business to make power supplies for its own tubes, thereby building the whole transmitter. It was unique. Uh, it was particularly unique that a tube company should do this. And this is an added advantage because we understand the microwave tube, which is a very complicated device, a very complicated interface. We had an enormous advantage over p other people who were merely making power supplies. You're not involved with somebody else to actually make your sale. And to us, that was a real turning point. That was, that was the thing that, that clinched our capability, because that's what we sell. We sell a capability uh, to companies around the world, particularly the large primes that are looking for a complete answer. They don't want to start piecing things together themselves. They just want a box they can fit in and, 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 and switch on, and away they go. TMD had to bring in engineers with an entirely different set of skills. It required significant investment. In the early days, cash generated in one part of the business was simply being spent in another. But eventually, this integration expertise began to pay off. For every tube that you supply, you now add value. The tube would have a price. You can more or less double the price when you put the power supply together. So it's called vertical integration. That was the, the first success. The second was that our range of tubes was limited to the size of the company. So what we would do with the power supply is to use other companies' tubes too. So now we've expanded the size of the market and we can go after more business. In fact, TMD buys more tubes from other companies than it makes itself. And in every case, integrating a tube with a power supply at production stage allows TMD to test it thoroughly before it's delivered to the client. The testing that's done here is vitally important to our reputation, both from a, a, uh, a warranty point of view, because we don't really want to spend money on warranty, and secondly, from a durability point of view, as far as the customer is concerned. Our goal is to ensure that if the product is going to fail, it fails here. We capture the failure, we identify what its cause is, we fix it, and by the time the customer gets the next product, it doesn't fail again. As much as possible, this guarantees reliability. It's helped TMD penetrate markets all over the world. Today, overseas sales count for 75% of its turnover. During the last year, in the most lucrative market of all, the United States, TMD won its largest ever contract, worth over $60 million. They have their own uh, systems and companies and suppliers, and they tend to buy American. Uh, indeed, I think they have an act to that effect. So to win in America, you have to be better than all the other guys, and you have to have something unique and different. Not necessarily price, it's performance and, and something different. A strategy of diversification has allowed TMD to steal a march on the competition. But it realises if it's to continue doing so, it must diversify still further. 
It invests over 7% of its annual profits in research and development. And such is its reputation, other companies outsource their own research and development to TMD. Over the next decade, its strategy is consolidation in the sector it knows, but also includes expansion into completely new sectors. We still have potential to grow the markets in which we currently operate, that is microwave tubes for radar and electronic warfare. But there are many other areas that we're currently looking at and working in, such as uh, X-ray for security uh, and others, which I can see will grow the company uh, by maybe double the size that we are now over the next 10 years.